And for Valentine's Day, make your family personalized chocolate bars. It's easy, quick, and delicious. You could do it at home, and that's in today's Chef's Quick Tip. I'm Tina Redwong with today's quick tip. Joining us is pastry chef. Suzanne Byrne from Sweet Brioche Artisan Pastries in Trumbull, Connecticut. So we're gonna start with some tempered chocolate. Now you can use any type of milk, dark or white chocolate. This is one little fun thing that I'm using right here, which is a lid of a takeout container and lined it with plastic wrap. I've got some cookie cutters here that have been sprayed or rubbed with a little butter so that nothing sticks to them. And then I'm gonna do some free form ones, which is more of a French style of doing it. And pour some chocolate into there. And then you're just gonna use your spatula to move it around and get all the way to the edges. Suzanne, what chocolate should we be using? So I like a dark chocolate. Anything that's kind of over a 58% chocolate is great. And it's really just about your personal preference. The first ingredient has to be chocolate and not sugar. It's gonna give you that beautiful crisp snap. It's also gonna have those antioxidants. I've got some dried cranberries and some pumpkin seeds that I'm gonna mm. put into these guys. Fruit and nuts is always a really good combination. And I'm gonna use some mini marshmallows here. Mm. I'm gonna take some little broken pieces of graham cracker crumbs is I'm just gonna put some fun little sprinkles on the top of especially this little s'more bars. Cause I just make a little bag out of parchment paper that's easy to write with and you can write messages. You just make a bag and cut that little tip off and you're good to use it. And this tip is online. Just search for News 12 Connecticut Quick Tips Chocolate Bar with Suzanne, Tina Redwine, News 12 Connecticut.